Did you ever think about making your own paint? In this video I show you a simple way how to make your homemade watercolors out of natural and no cost ingredients. While it's spring here in Germany, nature is slowly awakening. The animals get busy and more flowers show up every day. Especially wild violets caught my eye. Their bright color brought me to the idea of making my own paint. I only pick a few flowers. You don't need that much to extract the pigments. It was kind of funny. Everywhere around me were these huge bumblebees gathering food. Their humming was so loud. I chose dandelions for the yellow color because you can find them everywhere and they are non-toxic. For the green color I just picked a bit of grass, dandelion leaves and sorrel leaves. Be careful to just pick plants that are non-toxic and safe to use. For the brown color I used two different kinds of soils as well as coffee powder. For the red color I used more skins flowers and beetroot juice and for the orange color I used tangerine peel. I started with the wild violet. I only used the petals and removed the green parts to get a pure color. I used the linen cloth to filter out the plant parts. Water to extract the pigments. And the mortar and pestle to grind the plants. You can use and try out any ingredients you have on hand. I guess it's all trial and error and the first outcome will be a bit surprising, but the process of making your own paint is amazing. This is also a wonderful thing to do for children. It enables them to experience the entire process of color production of basic materials and encourages their creativity. It'll be amazing for them to use their homemade watercolors afterwards. Now I added a bit of water. You shouldn't use too much water so that the pigmentation will be strong. The only thing you have to do now is to grind the petals very good. The longer you grind, the more pigments you get. The petals of the white violets actually turn blue instead of purple. Whenever you are okay with the color, you have to filter out the small plant particles so that you get a clear paint. This time I only put the linen cloth on top of the bowl. Better fix it with a rubber band to prevent it from slipping off. You should also make a little notch so that the fluid collects inside. It takes a moment until the paint is filtered. You can use a small spoon or the end of a paintbrush to do this.
and here we got our first color. I was really amazed by the pigmentation of the blue color. It can totally compete with the strong red pigmentation of the beetroot juice. Next I grinded the dandelions. I used only the yellow fluffy parts and removed the green ones. Basically it's the same process for every color now. You grind each ingredient with water and filter the fluid. The color of this one turned out kind of brownish, but applied to the paper it was a nice yellow. Some of these ingredients smell amazing while grinding them, especially the coffee. The green one didn't smell that good, but it's great to experience this process with most of your senses. Sometimes it gets a bit messy pouring the colors, so be careful to protect your workspace and your clothes. The green color turned out beautiful as well. Now I made the color out of the coffee powder. You can also brew the coffee and try to use it this way. The brown of the coffee was really pigmented after layering it. Next I made the orange color with tangerine peel, but this one didn't work that well. After leaving the color for a while, it turned into this jelly texture, so I couldn't use it. I ended up pressing orange juice and used that. 
Perhaps the peel of citrus fruits contains substances that make the liquid become more viscous. Next I grinded the more skins flowers. I thought the water will be of a bright red, but it turned out more brown or dark violet. However, when I applied it to the paper, it resulted in a very soft and beautiful shade of red. Last, I extracted the pigments from the soil. Filtering the water was a bit harder here, because the soil consists of sediments. But be patient and give the whole process some time. This soil resulted in an ochre color. The second soil was much darker. Remember, the more you grind, the more pigments you get. I got a beautiful and vibrant color palette from all my ingredients. Here you can see the colors applied to the paper. Some of the colors were more pigmented than others. With watercolors you should always layer and let these dry before applying new colors. Otherwise the colors will mix. Here you can see the blue and green color applied to the paper. The first layers will be very soft. The more layers you apply, the more pigment gets on the paper. I was pleasantly surprised by the brown tones. Always stir the colors before applying, because the pigments tend to deposit at the bottom. Basically, you can extract color out of a lot of natural ingredients. Some berries and fruits, like raspberries, blackberries and cherries, should be beautiful red and blue colors. You don't have to use the method I did to extract the pigments. Just be creative and experiment, even if the outcome is not as you planned. Art supplies are often expensive. This method is a beautiful and relaxing alternative to create your own natural and no-cost paint. 